while conservatives are jumping for joy at the thought of the most right-wing Supreme Court in history swinging even more to the right with Donald Trump's pick for the vacant seat, progressives are outraged over not only the hypocrisy from Congress so eagerly confirming the pick when they refused to confirm Obama's nominee in 2016, but also because stories are emerging of some shady dealings to get Trump this pick and the shady dealings may have come directly from retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy and Donald Trump himself, as the two have known each other for a long time. Not only have they known each other, Kennedy's son was basically Trump's banker at Deutsche Bank and loaned billions of dollars to Trump. Oh, also, Deutsche Bank was under investigation for money laundering to Russia at the same time Trump was running for president. Seth Abramson puts together the whole case in this Twitter thread. 1. Trump's acceptance of a Federalist Society list of acceptable Scottish nominees a list. Remember this, with 20 names on it is what won him the presidency. Don't take my word for it. That's what everyone says about how Trump built a winning coalition. Source 2. What no one discussed in the presidential campaign and what neither Trump nor Kennedy ever spoke of, despite the fact that Kennedy was the most likely justice to retire, so his intention and willingness to retire was nationally significant was that the two men knew each other. 3. Strange, isn't it? That Trump made Scottis a major campaign issue but never mentioned how and to what extent he knew the justice most likely to retire especially given that justices tend to choose the timing of their retirement on the basis of their view of the sitting POTUS. 4. Well, we now know why Trump wouldn't have wanted to mention anything or Kennedy. And incredibly, the answer is, Russia. Kennedy's son worked for Deutsche Bank, which during the presidential campaign was being investigated for laundering Russian money. Source. 5. The other problem? Kennedy's son was Trump's banker. He worked at Deutsche Bank, loaning Trump lots of money before possibly as Deutsche Bank began to be investigated for laundering Russian money and Russia stood accused of interfering in the U.S. election, from June 2016 on. 6. So any reference made by Kennedy or Trump to the fact they knew each other ran the risk of raising the DB connection at a time Trump was hiding his tax returns, through the fraudulent claim an audit precluded releasing them and the DB Russia scandal was political cyanide. 7. So Trump, who has no filter in public speeches or debates, forewent speaking much about upcoming retirements, despite him knowing personally the man most likely to retire, and Trump loves talking about who he knows and how who he knows helps him. 8. But now we know the truth Kennedy's son wasn't just Trump's banker, he actually oversaw Trump getting $1 billion in loans at a time American banks wouldn't loan to Trump and his overall net worth may well have been south of that $1 billion figure. Source 9. So process this, Trump's 20-person Scottish list was critical to his victory. He knew personally the man that list would be used to replace. He couldn't discuss how he knew that man, as it had lead to pre-election stories involving questionable loans, Russia and money laundering. 10. It was in this context that within his first months as President Trump began to engage in unprecedented secret negotiations with his banker's dad about what it would take to get him, Kennedy, to retire. Again, Trump who'll boast of anything and everything kept this a secret. 11. Trump likely kept it secret for two reasons. 1. He was under more heat than ever over Russia making news stories about questionable loans to him from a Russian money laundering bank incredibly dangerous. 2. He knew as did Kennedy that negotiations of this sort were wrong. 12. It's common for Scottish justices to decide privately and personally, in consultation with family and, sometimes, close friends when they'll retire on the basis of who occupies the White House. But clandestine negotiations between a justice and sitting president are different. 13. But here's the thing. Justice Kennedy's clandestine negotiation with Trump wasn't just politically charged collusion across two branches of government, as the arrangement the two men made, as reported today by NBC, was something quite different. It was a secret quid pro quo. 14. Kennedy gave Trump a list of five names none of whom were on the list Trump promised voters he'd select justices from and apparently said he'd only retire if Trump nominated someone on the list, as Trump's original list was political. Kennedy's demands were likewise political. 15. What Justice Kennedy was doing was inserting himself directly into a hot-button political issue that had been at the center of Trump's presidential campaign and he was doing so as part of a negotiation both he and the White House were keeping a secret from American voters. 16. By the time Trump had been in office nine months, 
he was ready to violate his campaign promise of picking from the Federalist Society list though again, he had to hide from the media and voters what he was going to do and why. So he went to Fox News. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com once again that is www.atthesmall.com If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regiments and products for women and men including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at www.jdro.my rnf.com, all links are in the description box below. Share this video with your friends and family. Facebook's new algorithm changes have decimated the reach and the ad revenue of independent news sources like ours. Please become a patron of our news website and help us pay our writers by making a small contribution. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com once again that is www.atthesmall.com. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regiments and products for women and men including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at www.j dro.my, rnf.com, all links are in the description box below. We have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.